Hello everyone. Today, Aka Zhang is going to show you falling platforms four ways. There are zero gravity fall, forty fall, quick fall, and delayed fall. First, zero gravity fall. This is the most common one as seen in Kid Dracula. As the name suggested, we need a box with zero gravity material. I have to go to the settings, make sure that we have solid and movable properties. For the material, I change it into zero gravity. Close it. Okay, let's test. Yeah, right now the platform can fall, but the direction of the fall will be the same as impact angle of the character. Therefore, we have to limit the movement to be on Y direction only by adding a Y slide connector. The movement on the Y slide connector is relative to an object connecting to its lower connector. So here we need to create an unmovable solid box and put it where we want our platform to be. Go to properties, remove all the properties, close it. Connect this object to the lower part of the wire slide connector and connect the upper part of the wire slide connector to our platform. Okay, let's see. But our platform has become so tall. That's because we have to change the connection point of our platform first. We have to change the connection point to be center to center. Close it. Okay, let's test. Yeah. So now the falling platform only falls on Y direction. But there is still one more problem. If there is something touches the bottom, like this, the platform will fly up. So to prevent this, we have to go to Y slide connector, go to settings, set the max value to be zero. Close it. Let's test. Yeah, so now the platform no longer moves up and it can only move downwards. And that's our first type of the falling platform. Second, floating platform. This is useful if you want to create a platform that can bounce back, like a platform on the water or when you are jumping on a fluffy cloud. This can be done quite easily. You can just go to the settings of your platform and then change from zero gravity to floating. Close it. So now when I jump on it, it will slow down and it will bounce back. Like this. The third is a quick platform. All the two platforms fall really slowly. We can move the platform quickly by adjusting the Y slide connector's input directly. So we have to decrease the Y value when a person jumps on the platform. To know when the person jumps on the platform, we need a touch sensor on top of the platform. We size the touch sensor to have the same width as the platform, but really thin. Connect this to our platform box. And then go to the settings. Remove visible. Output timing is on touch. For the connection point, it is from Y negative to Y positive. So that the touch sensor is on top of the platform. Close it. And for the check what? Here we have to check for a person. When a person touches this, we have to turn on a flag. Because once it starts falling, the person may not touch the platform anymore. And then we have to map the flag output to a large negative value. Connect the flag to the map. And in the map settings, we have to change the output range to be from negative 10 or other values to 0. 
but right now when the flag is false, which means it has not started falling, the position will be at negative 10. So we have to reverse the direction. So now when the flag is off, it will remain at 0. When the flag is on, the platform will move to negative 10. Proceed. And don't forget to send this map output to our wise light connector. Okay, let's try. So now when I jump on this platform, it will fall immediately. Yes. The first one, delayed platform. For example, you may have an ice breaking platform that it only starts falling after one second. Or you just want to be kind to your friends who play your game. So we are going to add some delay before we start falling. That can be done quite simple. Simply add a timer before turning on the flag. Let me move the flag and map to the side. Instead of turning on the flag directly, I'm going to add a timer in between. Send the touch signal to the timer. Send the output of the timer to turn on the flag. Go to the timer settings. And output after how many seconds? This is the amount of delay that you want to add to your platform. Let's keep it as one second. Close it. Okay, let's test. So now when I jump on it, yeah, I can stand on there for about one second. Yeah. Lastly, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. But if you want to put falling platforms in your game and you want me to play on Saturday stream, I prefer this one. Please be kind and make it non-movable. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you will see me next time. Bye bye.